The flow of a simple control valve, as you know, is typically limited to fully closed, fully opened, or fully switched to a new flow path. These types of control valves are of simple design, and you would them for binary actors. But in the field of automation, you would have higher demands like controlling the revolution speed of a hydraulic motor, or the position of a linear piston. Proportional control valves offer a solution to the complexity of these demands. Mechanically proportional wave valves appear similar to their binary counterparts. The big difference is the way the solenoids perform. With an electrical control signal, which can be a variable voltage or current, the proportional solenoids can produce a variable force to ship the spool against the counteracting spring. A sloping arrow in the operational box within the symbol indicates this proportional performance. To avoid flow lack due to spool overlap, most manufacturers cut V-notches into the spool that allows that same flow can pass as soon as the spool moves. Most of these valves are used in open loop systems to smoothly accelerate or decelerate, for example, a hydraulic motor or to move a cylinder to any position. The disadvantages are the rather big reaction time, the switching hysteresis, and a relatively high electrical power consumption. Another type of hydraulic wave valves are the so-called servo valves. Developed in the 1940s, these servo valves operate with high accuracy, small reaction time, a smaller switching hysteresis, and less power consumption. The main difference between proportional and servo valve are that servo valves have a feedback of the spool, which can be used for an internal signal for the controller to adjust the valve itself. Oil from the pump inlet is tapped through filters, passes both ends of the spool, and the control lines and the return line. When the torque motor receives a current signal, the flapper is pushed closer to the end of the control lines. This allows that pressure increases at one end of the spool and decreases on the other end. Of course, the spool moves away from the higher pressure. To tell it in a few words, within a servo valve, the electronics provides the accuracy and the hydraulics provides the force. You would use servo valves for high demanding closed loop systems, with analog actors of course. Here, you see an example of a closed loop position control. Watch also our next videos.